Forbes list shows pandemic shutdown benefits wealthiest. That's right. The wealthiest are benefiting from the pandemic shutdown. We are seeing people that are... I was watching a video today uh, about... what I can't remember his first name. Whatever his name is. Zizik, 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 whatever. Sometimes he says he's a Marxist. Sometimes he says he's a Hegelian. And I'm not a Marxist. I'm not a Hegelian. But I learned from, from everyone, even from Zizik. And he was talking about how basically corporations have become sort of they're already kind of communist or they're, they're they've they've started to basically claim uh the, the commons ownership <laughs> uh but uh, while they're doing that they're also fighting the well for, for zizek and i think he rightly focuses on this he focuses on the the intellectual property and how they can pass all the laws they want but trying to hold intellectual property in the hands of rebels is, is really hard. How do you keep how do you keep intellectual property out of people's heads? You can't lock that up. You could try to penalize people for using it without quote unquote permission, but so you get this dichotomy going on within these corporations that have consolidated power to such a degree that they're now able to make these arrangements. Yeah, mutual assured uh, I guess mutual assured survival is, is, is maybe what it is, but they're de facto creating these, these states. They're states outside of nation states that have all of the types of controls that a communist totalitarian system has. And, and that's in part, I think, what we're seeing here with this Forbes list shows pandemic shutdown benefits the wealthiest. The Forbes list, this is from Box.com, the Forbes list reveals that the number of billionaires in the world spiked by 30% during the pandemic. So we have, I didn't see the number yet, but I've been using 614 American billionaires. I, I haven't seen the list yet. So, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I looked at it briefly, but I didn't go through the details of it yet. So uh, I'll let you know later how, how, how many new, new billionaires we have. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, top Forbes record setting billionaire list. And of course, uh, got to put in there Trump. Trump lost some, some. What a, well, that's that's not a surprise that Trump lost wealth during the four years that he was president. Forbes lists 22,755 wealthiest billionaires in the world. Now, that, there's more than 2,755 billionaires. These are the wealthiest, so I don't know how many billionaires. But note that 35 billionaires are in U.S. healthcare. A lot of billionaires being made right now. I'll tell you that. Tyler Perry is a billionaire. Kim Kardashian is a billionaire. Kanye West is a billionaire. All these people have contributed tremendously. I mean, well, you, at least you could argue. Well, Kanye West at least creates music, and Tyler Perry uh, creates movies. I'm not sure I like either one of them, musically or movily. Uh, Kim Kardashian, I don't know. So glad that Kim Kardashian is a, is a billionaire. It's, it's great. The world's billionaires adds $5 trillion to their wealth during the pandemic because during the pandemic, businesses are going out of business and the companies are buying up. They're taking their market shares and they're taking their intellectual properties. That's more important than anything long term. Intellectual property, folks. Intellectual property is the new land, is the new capital. Everybody who is anybody must have some, some organ within their empire that holds massive amounts of intellectual property. And you could make millions of dollars a month just off of uh, suing people, uh, whether, whether, whether there's a legitimate case or not, just suing people for your intellectual property. So that's the world we live in. More on this later.